With composite products, you can let your customers build their own products from selected inventory. For example, this composite product lets customers build a custom car by choosing their own components and features. They can choose the color of the car. The interiors. The engine. And finally the fuel type. The final price of the car depends on the components chosen by the customer. Another good example is letting your customers create their own outfit by selecting the shirt, pants, watches, and shoes. If you have a gift box online shop, you can let shoppers create their own gift boxes by choosing from various item categories like sweets, candles, and beverages. This way, shoppers can choose products according to their preferences and pay for only what they've bought. If you want to offer composite products to your customers, here's our guide. If this video ends up being useful to you, please consider subscribing to our channel for more WordPress and WooCommerce related topics. Plugins like WooCommerce Composite Products and WPC Composite Products for WooCommerce are great for setting up composite products on your store. We'll be using the latter. From your WordPress dashboard, hover over the Plugins tab and click Add New. Here, search for WPC Composite Products. This is the plugin we're looking for. Click Install Now. And then activate it. Click Settings under the plugin name to set it up. In the General Settings, you can choose a price format for the composite product. The product page can show the regular price, the sale price, or both. We can also choose the type of selector interface for the dropdowns. We have three options, DD Slick, Select 2, and HTML, each with its own distinct look. We'll use Select 2. Next, you can choose to exclude unpurchasable products from the list. Below, you can choose to show or hide the quantity before the component name. You can also change the visibility of the image and price of components for the HTML selector interface. Here, you can type the text that will show for components that shoppers want to avoid. And decide whether the option to skip a component is available for required components. With this option, you can also let shoppers skip a component with a check mark. Next, you can choose the text that appears before the price of the composite product. With the next option, you can add links to individual product pages of the components. However, if you don't want the products to be sold separately, it's advised to disable this option. Finally, you can set up how the composite products will look on the shop page and the cart and checkout pages as well. To create a composite product, hover over the Products tab and click Add New. Here, give the composite product a name, and add the product details and description in the space below. Then, from the Product Data drop-down, select Composite Product. A new tab called Components has been added. This is where we will add the components one by one. And these are the details of the first component. Before adding components, make sure that all products that will be part of the composite product are published as individual products on your store. Check out our video about adding and importing WooCommerce products in the description below. Add a name for the first component. And a description as well. These will appear here. Select the source of the component. We will use products. But if you want to add a lot of component products, you can import them using categories and tags with the premium version of the plugin. Type the product keywords. And select from the drop-down. Here, you can mark the component as required. A red asterisk will appear for required components on the shop page. You can also assign a single price for all the items in the component in the new price section. This is how it appears on the shop page. Below, we can set a default quantity for the component and allow or disallow customers from changing the quantity. Also set a minimum and maximum value for the quantity. When enabled, a quantity option appears on the shop page. When you're done, click Add Component to set the parameters for the new component. 
and similarly add any other components that make up your composite product. After adding the components, you can choose how you want to price your composite product. You can choose between a fixed base price, the total of component prices and base price, or simply the sum of the component prices without any base price. No matter which option you choose, make sure you've set an amount in the price section in the general tab. If you leave this field empty, the add to cart button will not appear for the customer. Back in the components section, you can add a discount percentage on the total price to incentivize the customer to buy the composite product. You can also set quantity limitations for the composite product, and choose if similar products can be chosen in different components. Also, decide how you want to apply the shipping fee for the composite product, as a whole, or to each individual component. Finally, you can add a custom display price, and some text above and below the components. These will appear here and here. Then, add a product image for your composite product, which will appear as follows. When you're done, publish the product. The composite product is now ready, and customers can easily customize their product the way they want. Check out LearnWoo.com for more articles, videos, and resources related to WordPress and WooCommerce. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media channels. And do let us know in the comment section if you want us to cover a specific topic or if you have any ideas or suggestions.